So Matt, I just really quickly wanted to talk about some exercises. Do you have any, any like favorites that you like for a golfer? Yeah. I, you know, especially early, I mean, before round, um, to sort of get, you know, all the muscles around your lower back and your hips sort of firing. So I, I used to just do a simple, I would take a step forward, pick my leg up, open my leg up, um, just to stretch those hip and, and groin muscles. So okay. kind of like, kind of like that, exactly like that. And I would do, you know, maybe 10 to 15 aside just okay. to feel like I got those muscles yeah. woken up a little bit. Yeah. It's a, it's a combination of a muscle activation. So you're actually telling the muscle what to do. So then when yeah. you go to do it and use it in a complex movement, it's actually way more, uh, way more functional. So yeah. the one that I like, and you know, most people aren't going to lay down on the ground, but a really good golf exercise is called a clamshell. You just lay like this and you raise your leg up like yeah. that. And that gets your gluteus medius firing. Um, you know, if, if you go to the gym, if you're a golfer that goes to the gym, which you definitely should be, um, you know, getting stronger and strengthening the abductor muscles in your hips, um, specifically on your lead side. So whichever side's, you know, downfield, um, you want to be, you want to be getting stronger because you always are going to be lengthening that muscle in your swing. So it's just about using the muscles that you're going to use the most in, in the course of a round. Right, right. And, and making them do, it's not so much stretching or strengthening as much as making them responsive. So having them do what you want them to do when you tell them to do it. So, yeah, yeah.